Hi guys, I'm actually filming on my bed. Um, I didn't want to make like a whole review video formal style of this because I'm actually going to Sephora to return this, but I just got this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, which is the newest one, and it came in this box and this was inside. So I just wanted to film this video to show you guys what it looks like up close in case you're interested in purchasing it, um, in case you wanted to see it like up close before purchasing it so let me open it for you and the palette is gorgeous but I also noticed that um, although it looks really nice and fancy I don't know I feel like Hourglass is overrated and the packaging feels cheap to me um, it feels like hollow plastic like I feel like for $80 this should I don't know like it's not extremely light but it's not luxurious packaging to me anyways so the reason I'm returning it is not because of the packaging it's because the colors don't show up on my skin tone I'm a Mac NC 30 NC 35 and it just doesn't show up on my skin tone so I actually was so excited about these two colors but um, like they just blend kind of into my skin. I don't know. So let me tell you the shades. This is dim light, incandescent light, diffuse light, mood exposure, luminous flush, and luminous bronze light, which is the bronzer. Um, it's kind of also very orangey, like when you swirl it together. I, I don't know. I really wanted to love this palette. Sorry guys, I forgot to swatch the colors on my arm for you, and I've already returned the palette. Sephora has a great return policy. Um, let me know if you guys got this palette and what you thought of it, um, and I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you're interested in getting the palette, at least you can get like an up-close look at it. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!